This is Crimson Autumn, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Um, today, I'm playing on the realm again. And the ATT is still here, of course, as usual. And I have been working on the base a lot, and so has Yo-Yo. So I'm going to give you a new tour of what the base looks like. But I can't show you the entrance to the secret base, because people that watch... This video are also in this realm, and I don't want them to know how to get in, so I will go into the base and then show you once I'm in there. Okay, we're back at the entrance of the base, and this is the secret entrance, but you can't see the other side, so you can't, you don't know where it starts. Um, this button, when you press it, it opens up the door from the inside. This lever here uh, controls the switch track, and this took way longer than it should have for some reason so if you have it facing towards this uh sign that says vault it'll take you to the vault and if you have it towards the portal it'll take you to the portal so those are like the two major directions like but there's obviously tons of other rooms in here that are for the most part not complete but some of them are so um first i'll just walk through it and then i'll go on the minecarts later these two are completely empty there's just nothing in there we're we're going to probably find something to do with them. Here is the storage room that we were working on last video. It is, it's definitely coming along. There's, this wall's finished. I might have to continue it because I'm, it's kind of almost filling. At least a lot of the subjects are. So as I've organized it, like dirt is in these three double chests and then cobblestone, you know. But then some of these, like, I only need one double chest for nether related stuff. So I'll just have that there and then same with all that. So then, over here is going to be a super smelter, and I already have the design picked out, but I haven't built it yet. So, that's complete. Well, no, okay, no, it's not because of the super smelter, but this place is the mine, grinder, and brewery. So I just kind of, sort of finished this, not really though. Um, it's kind of broken. I built this awesome XP grinder, there's like a spawner down there. But th this obviously isn't broken, I j basically just moved. Uh, the one that was at the bottom of the hill into here. So that's that. But then if you go down here, there's a big XP grinder. Well, a spawner. That took me for forever. It has this big tube. It goes outside because there wasn't enough space. And it doesn't even work for some reason. I can't fi find the problem. I think they're getting caught in the tube at the top. But I'm not really sure. So that's that room. These two are empty again. And... The breeders, I haven't done anything with this. This might be um, interiorized, I guess, in the future, maybe. This one's empty still. Uh, over here is the vault, and it has a really, really awesome staircase. I can't, I can't look anymore because I don't want to show you the way in. Okay, so here is the interior of the vault. Um, it's we're thinking about putting some red stained glass around this just for the looks um this isn't organized yet either there's going to be like signs organizing everything but i forgot to mention this earlier but i think i showed you the old vault that we had um at the bottom of the hill in my last video um but i grabbed all the stuff from it and this was basically everything so i'm gonna just throw them in a chest up in here i have a lot more diamonds than this because i went end busting and got a bunch of elytra and was selling them off for like really expensive. So someone still owes me 50 diamonds and people are buying my shulkers and stuff. It's it's awesome. But I'm just going to throw all this in here for now. I'll organize it later. But yeah, I got a lot of armor. I gave some elytra to Yo-Yo so he finally has stuff. So that's good. And that's, that's pretty much it. I do like this room though. It's um, There is a solid layer of obsidian on the outside. So you actually, it's like really hard to get in even if you just dig into it. So if you, so that way goes to the vault, but then if you go straight, you can get to the portal and there is going to be like a really cool portal, portal room Oops, down here. And we haven't done it yet, but there is just a normal portal for now. So I will show you our little outpost that we made and it takes a long time to get to it. So it's a lot of walking it's because you have to go on another highway so i will start recording again once i get there 
Okay, so we're at the end of this insanely long nether highway. It's like, it's, it's really long. It takes ages to walk down, but here is just some access to the outside of the nether that I haven't even, I haven't even explored any of that, but I just thought I might need that later. Then if you come over here, there's some signs, no, una no unauthorized personnel allowed. So just me and Yo-Yo and maybe some of our friends. So it says, welcome to the desert outpost. This space is meant to be styled after old school Minecraft builds. It uses a lot of sandstone and oak. So we, I built it because I was tired of trying to build all these like modern Minecraft builds that like take forever. And I just wanted to build like something that I would have built on like the Xbox 360 and stuff. So this is, this is what it is. I, I know it's not that great, but it was kind of meant to be that way. I mean, it's just okay. You know what I mean? But it really reminds me of like 2013 Minecraft and those were like good times. So I had to, I had to build it and the interior is not really done yet. There's this and that just in this entrance room then here we have a smelter small storage area this is going to be a basement where there will be some kind of industrial things and a mine so a lot of the ground below the main area is all mined out so it's really hard to find diamonds there so we'll be doing that here now although i don't think i'll have to mine for a long time but if you go up here there's just going to be a little bedroom here i haven't really had time to do that then up here is the tower, so I just made a little chest there because, I don't know, seems like something that 2013 me would do. Oh, oh my goodness, okay. Um, at the top of this tower is nothing really, it's just a lookout. I, I just think it looks really cool. It. I just was tired of building those, you know, like super fancy builds that that uh you have to work super hard to make look good but like in 2013 2012 this did look good so i want i really had fun building it um it did take a lot longer than it looks actually all this sandstone and stuff i don't know it just took a while so that's pretty cool i'll be making a little more infrastructure around here it's pretty bare bones but there's there's some cool stuff in the area like a village a outpost for that dark oak because we cannot find dark oak in this world at all so there's a uh, oops outpost with dark oak so we can actually just harvest it from there and yeah i will go back and do a little fly over the world to show you what it's looking like right now and then we'll maybe do something productive but you know that's kind of hard to do in this world because there's so much to look at the one annoying thing about the portal is that it always takes me back to Crusade's house. I don't know if I mentioned him in the last video, but he's probably the richest I might be in this server. But this was a melon portal. Looks like he changed it to pumpkins. That's interesting. Pumpkin gang was here. Okay. Um. Well, I thought it was the melon portal. Although I like that a lot. It looks, looks great. Um. So... This area has changed a lot. He built this like thing here. So yeah, it, there's also this, it, it looks like it's a work in progress. I don't know, but there's Invincible Slime's house and there's other houses and stuff. There's a water elevator. I can't remember what exactly was here in the last video, but I know some things for sure weren't here. So I'm gonna just do a little flyover. Um, this is like a raid farming village. It looks like I didn't complete the raid the last time I was here. Um, this is the, sh the shopping district. I, I like it. it. It's it's not really growing much, but that's okay. It's, it's doing well. We've organized it a bit more. I don't know if that beacon was there in the last video, but we have a beacon now. That's super duper handy. And that was made by Crusade, so shout out to him, even though he doesn't have a YouTube channel. Um... There's just some more houses that have kind of come up. I haven't even seen this one. Um, yeah, I'll go over this area because there's a lot here. I think this was here in the last video, but I'm not sure. There's all all this stuff. There's a fish shop there. Oh, goodness. Ow. Okay, good thing I have feather falling. My armor is kind of in disrepair right now. These are about to break and I have no helmet, so... I have the armor, but it's just like I don't have a way to enchant them. I mean, I do. It just takes a lot of time. 
don't have time. So, that is about the whole world. I mean, there's a lot more. There's like a new outpost that Crusade made and stuff. Use that tube I was talking about, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think they're getting stuck in here. Maybe. There were some up here earlier, so they probably despawned. Ooh, wow, that was bad. Um, so I don't really know what to do in this video. I mean, I was just going to give a tour, but I should probably do something else. Okay, so while I was trying to figure out what to do, I came over to the shop to see if I had any sales. I went in here, and people have been stealing these books. They stole them, and there, were no pay there was no payment. There, there was one purchase in here, and they left a payment. There was the one diamonds, but there was nothing here. So that means people are stealing my books. I will, I will be getting to the bottom of this. This is ridiculous. These are like high value books. They're worth three diamonds. That is, that's absolutely ridiculous. That makes me mad. I, I will get to the bottom of that for sure. That's, that's awful. Well, I'm still thinking of something to do for this video because, I mean, I didn't really think about that. So I will get back to you once I have thought of something. Okay, so I figured out what we're going to do, and it is that we are going to take a stop at the Rishi Outpost, and that is Crusade's Outpost. Um, we're not just going to go there to show you it, but I also want to collect... Hold on, just let me kill this guy. Okay, I also want to collect the payment for those Elytra that I gave... Someone lives at the Rishi Outpost, and they bought an Elytra off of me for like 50 diamonds. So, I don't know if they paid, but I assume they did if they were online, so we'll go see if they did. And if not, I can just show you what the Rishi Outpost is, because it's pretty cool. This is the same path that gets you to the Stronghold, but if you keep going... Well, actually, that's the Stronghold right there, but uh, this way goes to the Rishi Outpost. So, this is apparently where Crusade gets rich. So it's prob it's a pretty long walk, so I'll just cut to where I'm there. Okay, so here we are at the Rishi Outpost. Uh, if you don't know what the Rishi Outpost means, it's uh, homage to Clone Wars, the TV show, if you've seen that. If you're cool, you've seen it. Um, so I will see if I got the payment for those Elytra. This is the guy's house. Warhog is his name. So I left him in Elytra, and he should have left me 50 diamonds, but we'll see. It was here. The chest was here. He must not have done it. I will... I'll, I'll get on him for this. He will He will suffer and all that. He, he, he will regret not paying me them. But um, since he didn't pay me those, I am going to go and show you the rest of the Rishi outpost. So there's like this tower thing here. I don't even know what it's for. It looks like a waste of stone brick if you ask me but I'll go to the top of it anyways okay so the wait I've been here before what am I talking about yeah so there's a fireplace here um there's this I guess I don't really see that what's the point in this it's just it's just a fireplace okay well cool anyway there's this building that's awesome it's like a little old town hall type thing there's a witch down there. I'll just not mess with it. There's like a map. It looks like it's not complete, but they're making a map of the area, which is really cool. So I think we should have something like that at the main area, but we don't. Um, I think that's all there is. There's this bell. That's super cool and advanced. And here's the mine, but we don't go down there. That's where Crusade gets all his diamonds, so we don't want to mess with it. But that is about all we have time. Oh, never mind. I'll fight this witch. Okay, so that is about all we have time for in this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please like down below. That's very helpful. And comment. I don't know. Again, like last, last video, I need to think of things for you guys to comment. You can just comment whatever you want like you normally do. So, um, And don't forget to subscribe because that is also even more helpful than liking. So do that. And here's a giant chest monster. Uh, well, it's it's decently organized. Okay, well, I will see you guys in the next one.